My Syracuse experience showed me that I could do anything. I could set any goal and accomplish it. It was a very nurturing environment that was very open to you expressing yourself. My dad, his dream for me was to go to college and to be the first in the family. It's a lot of pressure, but in a good way. At that time, it was you're going to be a lawyer, a doctor, or an accountant. And I'm very great at numbers, so accounting you know, was the easy choice. Sophomore year, I decided to be a finance major because I was interested in banking. I actually happened on television and media by accident. So I was working at the bank, and on the weekend, uh, one of my sons, Dorinda Bagwell, wanted to be a music video director. So she enlisted all her friends to come down and help her on her first music video. And I think that's where I first got the bug. And the more I did, the more I wanted to learn about it, and the more opportunities I was given to kind of advance. And I went from PA to production coordinator to manager to producer, and it set me on another career path. So my current role is head of programming for BET Networks. I am inspired every day to come to work because I get a chance to tell our stories. It's my dream job. <laughs> I think most people would say in the business that she's very easy to work with. And I think that's a rare quality in our business. Connie is so smart and so talented. You know, I would call her powerful. She's a powerful woman, but she does it in her own unique style. She's headed up everything at BT from news to music specials to original programming, scripted and unscripted. So I've had a few standout moments. The first one would be bringing Black Girls Rock Awards to BT. It started as an event and it's turned into an amazing show that really speaks to the brand and the DNA of what BT is. Say those words again. Black girls rock. My second standout moment is when I was on the original programming team, one of the shows that was under my watch was The Game. When it premiered on BET, we, we premiered to a 7.7, .7, which broke <laughs> history here and in, in cable television. And then the third moment, my first BET award. I'm a keeper running because a winner don't quit on themselves. I was in music and specials for the last two and a half years. I think one of the first moments that just really blew me away was the Beyonce and Kendrick performance and building pools on stage for a live show, and I'm very proud of that show. I've been very fortunate. I think most of my career outside of the banking, when I started in production, I've worked for African-American companies. It's a blessing to be able to hire African-Americans in control of content that really defines the culture. When I was younger, there were a lot of challenges because it was really, and it still is, a boys network. When I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of mentors, and the mentors I did have were men. So I try to be a mentor for young women that are thinking about the field and just want to know about the journey. It feels good to give back. It feels good to know that there's a little seed that I'm planting that's really going to help someone blossom in their career and in their life as a student at Syracuse University. I think Syracuse has one of the biggest African American and Latino networks out there. One of the greatest things about Syracuse is that you do this every three years. A lot of universities do it every 20. But this kind of keeps you plugged in and it keeps you involved. I feel so blessed to be receiving this award. It's always great to be recognized. And Syracuse started me on my path. I went from, you know, a very small pond to being on campus in this big world. And it opened up doors, it opened up ways of thinking, and it just really started me on my career and life trajectory. So to come back and be honored, you know, or recognized for, for impact that I've done in my professional career, it's amazing. I'm over the moon. <laughs>